What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another Blueprint episode for Call of Duty Mobile. So we are nearing the 200th episode of the Blueprints of Call of Duty Mobile. As of right now, we're working on uh, the Holger, the, that Christmas gun. That's apparently the name of the weapon. It's kind of weird. Uh, kind of weird to have it, especially for the 199th episode. But, you know, the 200th one's going to be pretty interesting because we're going to be focusing on the, you know, that Snow Bison skin that's coming out soon. And the cool thing about that is I'm going to be able to get that gun at a very huge discount. Almost to the point where it's nearly half off. But I think it would be a pretty good idea to do at least one more blueprint before the 200th episode. So, yeah, let's talk about the Holger the Christmas gun. That's literally the name of the gun. It is probably the most least creative things in the world, but yeah. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it, you know, just the Christmas Holger. That's all I'm really going to say. So... The Christmas Hoger wasn't really mentioned too much within the Leakers on Duty, and that was mainly because it's probably one of the most underwhelming skins for the Battle Pass. Probably a little more underwhelming than it should be, especially for a Battle Pass skin. This is something that might have as well just been some sort of Christmas event skin or even some sort of seasonal challenge skin. But unfortunately, that's not the case for this gun, and it, I felt like they could have probably done a little bit more work with it. But I do, say, I do have to say, at least when it comes to camo coverage, it does kind of extend a little bit in that area. Keep in mind, the Holger Christmas gun isn't really that uh, crazy when it comes to how it looks. Um, yeah, like, it's not one of those things that changes the entire structure of the weapon, but it does change certain attachments of it. Probably one of the more notable attachments is the lightweight suppressor. I know it's probably a terrible idea to have that as a skin. I, I think it would have been better if it was a monolithic suppressor because that's what people typically use more. But alas, it's not the case. So here is the Holger Christmas gun without any sort of camouflage on it. So as you guys can see, the iron sight, or I guess the areas around that is a little bronze. Uh, nothing really crazy. You do see Santa Claus right there holding a candy cane with, I guess, the North Pole background. But at the same time, it's kind of weird because you do see some planets with like the ring that I guess that's like to represent Saturn or something like that. So it really doesn't make too much sense why Santa Claus is up in the moon or somewhere outer space, even though he's, you know, more of an earthly type of person. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like they were trying to mix a combination between Santa and space. I don't know why they did that. I mean, they should have just made Santa just, you know, pure and simple. It didn't have to be like that. But probably one of the most notable features of it is probably the stock. You can't see it right here, but uh, the stock is, I, I guess it, it's meant to kind of like represent the sleigh. And as for the suppressor, like I said, there's a Christmas tree on, I guess, the muzzle of the thing that is supposed to represent the lightweight suppressor. However, given that a lot of people don't really see the skin as worthy to use, I mean, it still looks pretty cool when you put different camos on it, like Ether Crystal. And I noticed that, you know, with the drum mag, I think it does add some coverage there uh, where previously it might not have. I don't, I'm not really that sure if the Hoger with the double mag had any sort of like camo to it, but it does look a lot more nice, a lot more clean. And I kind of like how the iron sight goes well with, you know, just the seasonal camos in general. You also do see kind of like the snowflake symbol on the bottom of the iron sight, which looks pretty cool as well. So like I said, it's a pretty average gun for the most part, but for any people that may be new to the game and doesn't have like a Holger skin, I mean, there you go. You have, you have a pretty decent Holger skin, uh, even though it may not be the best attachment skin based epic in the game, but it's still something. So what I have for the class setup with the Holger, I do have no stock. I do have the Holger double stack carbine mag. I think that's what it's called as well as rubberized grip tape, long shot and OWC laser. This is the one I, this is typically the build that I use. I thought I used a suppressor within the gameplay, but it didn't really go that well because of how heavy it became. So I just recommend using long shot. So anyway, that's going to conclude the video. Uh, if it wasn't going to be represented anywhere else in YouTube or even leakers on duty, I mean, might as well just do it myself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time.